The Representative for Children and Youth Office was created in 2006 after the GOVE report. It's meant to be an oversight body of the Ministry of Children and Families. Since 2006, the Representative's Office, or RCY, has put out dozens and dozens and dozens of reports identifying all the ways that the Ministry of Children and Families is failing to protect children, families, and communities in this province. Over and over again, these reports come out that are tragic and horrifying and devastating. And over and over again, the Ministry of Children and Families says, oh, we take these recommendations really seriously. And then very little changes. I feel a deep fury about this issue. Since 2017, families have been coming into my constituency office. We have worked alongside parents. We have worked alongside community members to put solutions in front of this government. Solutions are not that complicated. People need to have their basic needs met. Families need to be supported. We have families living in deep poverty. And instead of addressing that root cause, instead of addressing intergenerational trauma, instead of ensuring that families get access to all the services they need and have their basic needs met, MCFD operates as a machinery of punishment. And the threat to families is always, we can take your children. And so what do we get? Families don't reach out for help. They don't reach out for support. They don't ask for and get what they need from a Ministry of Children and Families. They are afraid. They're afraid that if they ask for help, they'll be at risk of losing their children. And so over and over again, we see the same outcomes from this ministry. We see the same reports from the representative. We see the same tired bureaucratic lines from the ministry saying that they're going to plan and organize and examine and all of the things that they've been doing for the last 18 years that has not changed the fact that a child in the child welfare system in this province is in peril, is in danger. There are over 6,000 reports of critical injuries and death every single year to the representative children and youth. That number tells us that being a child in BC's so-called child welfare system is to be a child in a very dangerous place.